having a rough one. <laughs> uh, I got off work a little bit late and I came over to the farm because I wanted to try to capture at least a little bit of planting of corn, whether it was uh, sweet corn or regular corn. And I pull into the driveway and I find the planter. This is a John Deere 7000 Conservation. Uh, the conservation is the, the no-till. It has uh, this no-till uh, front on it. But anyways, not important because we don't have any video of it. Um, I find all the planter boxes to be with the lids off, which means Dad uh, went ahead and planted that sweet corn and uh, emptied out these boxes when he was done. So... What does that mean for us? What that means for us is that I have zero footage of planting corn. Year one, episode seven, was gonna be the, the video of corn and I've let you down. I'm sorry, I've let us all down. Good news is we do have all of that in the ground. Uh, all the corn's planted um, and it's starting to come up. Actually what he planted field corn to begin with. And you can see that it's starting to come up. Um, a lot of it's up. You can see some weeds, but we also have little stalks of corn plant here. It's like five leaves, one, down there at the bottom, two, three, four, five. Coming up, nice and healthy. There's a lot of its siblings here, and there's a lot of it there. So we're pretty happy with this. Um, you know, it's the right time of year. The temperature is warm. Although it was 44 degrees this morning when I got up, so that wasn't super fun. Weather's getting better, so that's good. Uh, crops are starting to come up. We'll have to watch our soybeans that we've planted and see how they're doing. Um, so that doesn't leave us with too much uh, in the ground farming. Planting is good. Uh, there's some things that you have to do that we choose to do uh, after we plant corn. We like to use a application. We, we call it an applicator. It's a, it's a kind of a sprayer-like system that we knife um, liquid chemicals, liquid fertilizer into the ground in between the rows. Uh, we'll get some video of that. I, I promise we'll get some video of that. It's not super exciting, but it's, it's part of farm life. Um, we have that uh, little Alice um, Chandler, the 185 the alternator needs to come off of it and be tested and worked on. And maybe soon we'll get the Yamaha out, get it cleaned up and maybe get it on the lake. If we keep having these warmer days, even the 44 this morning wasn't great, but it's been in the eighties. It's supposed to be in the eighties. There they are. We got a bunch of little bunnies living here. Scatter little bunnies. There's like a dozen. There they go. And they're on. I think that they're back over the creek planting that 14 acres in soybeans. Um, the last 14 acres. I'm hoping that's where at least one of the tractors, like there's nothing up here at the farm, like everything's gone. Every tractor, <laughs> except for that smaller Alice, uh, is missing. So the, the 7010, which had that International Harvester planter on it, missing. Uh, the Case 1570, which is hooked up to the seed tender, or the wagon with an auger and it's missing and then our 7040 red belly 
uh, it's missing as well, which that's what dad likes to plant soybeans with. With that Great Plains uh, 15 foot drill. So I'm hoping they're all back here. I need to walk anyways. So we'll, uh, we'll go back this, walk back here and see <clears throat> what equipment's back here and what we need to take back up to the barn. That right there was mowed with the Matthew Ferguson 135 and that Land Pride mower. I did that yesterday. Looks good, huh? I'm proud of myself for that one. Cross through the river, through the woods, to the back 20 acres of field we go. I'm glad I put on my boots and not just my tennis shoes. <clears throat> it's nice. Little creek in your farm. <sighs> Out of breath again. Seasonal allergies. Must be it. I've walked like all the way back here expecting to find somebody. And the only thing I found was a lone golf cart. The golf cart fairy left me a treat. Because where that golf cart sits is where we left a tractor last night. Which means I can take this back. I kind of feel like I won. I'm happy. Things are starting to look up. I also wanted to show that this isn't just any ordinary golf cart. This is a golf cart sprayer. Custom Deluxe, if you will. Painted army green, the fold out arms, spray tank. It's a little spot sprayer golf cart. I'm not mocking it. This thing is sweet and it's perfect for little spotty jobs here or there. Plus it looks awesome. You guys with your fancy sprayers, 40 foot booms eat your heart out may not be ideal driving conditions back here there we go find a groove this camera doesn't have shock absorber lens on it as you can see by this bouncing around hey look they sent in the rock picker. Oh wait, that's still me. <coughs> and the rock pile is way in there. <coughs> Another successful rock delivered to the fence row. Pretty proud of that. A day went from be oh hold on that's a two for two for Monday oh that's a nice one nice rock it's a good rock picker it shows its age from time to time <clears throat> but it does its job I'll miss you Stay dry, stay warm. Until next time. Well, this is a short one because I don't really have whole much to do today. And it's kind of getting cloudy. I think we might go home and mess on the garden a little bit for another hour or so. Thanks for taking a minute to hang out with me today. I'm gonna head home and eat dinner and work on the garden and uh, maybe take some video of that. Thanks for staying with me today. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Have a nice rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Look at my hair. So look at my hair. <laughs> I'm driving that down the road. 
Wow.